All right, this is going to be a short video showing off uh, some of the cloud integration features of OpenShift. So um, previous to this video, I installed, I've got a um, got an OpenStack um, installation done with a, pro a project called, called RDO, the RDO project. Um, and it's uh, it has a program called PackStack that is a puppet installer for uh, an all-in OpenStack, which is pretty convenient. So that's what I've done here. Um, and I've made other videos about that. But uh, make a long story short, I've deployed a uh, OpenShift installation on it. I've got a master and infra and an infra worker which we hosts the registry and the router, and then just a, a worker node to schedule um, workloads too. But none of that matters here. What I'm going to show on this video is um, an alpha feature in Cube One Three, and hence Origin One Three and uh, OpenShift Enterprise Three Three that allows you to dynamically provision physical volumes in response to a physical volume claim. Because managing physical volumes is kind of annoying, especially if you're a cloud provider. You'd really wish all that would just happen automatically since there's APIs to handle that kind of thing. So uh, the, the cloud integration makes that possible. So I'm going to show how that works. Um, if we go, here's the uh, OpenShift project that I have going here. I'm a demo user. and. Uh, I'm going to just go straight to the docs here, and uh, there's a page on doing uh, dynamic provisioning in the storage. And it's triggered using this alpha annotation on your um, persistent volume claim. So I'm just going to copy and paste that directly in here. I'm going to PVC YAML. I'm just going to paste this right in here to see how it works. And then we're just going to OC create that PVC. Before I hit enter, I should show you that uh, if I come down here to storage, there aren't any persistent volume claims. So hit this, we see the claim pop up and it's already bound to this PVC, uh, to this uh, volume called PVC and it's got this uh, UID afterward. Um, I didn't create that physical volume. That physical volume is actually a cinder vol volume that was dynamically created in response to the claim in OpenStack. So if we come in here and go to volumes now, you can see that there's this Kubernetes dynamic PVC and it's got that UID there. And it's the exact size for the, um, the PVC that we created, right? Three gigs. So that's super convenient. And as long as the claim stays around, you, you can bind this claim into pods all you want and it sticks around. If you remove the persistent volume claim of a dynamically provisioned physical volume, then it deletes the physical volume. So if we come in here, and we uh, do a delete on the uh, delete PVC claim one. And we can go in here and see that now that claim is gone. And if we refresh this, you can see that the uh, underlying cinder volume is also deleted. So that is pretty cool. Uh, 